Hello, this is Walter Reed from Kaggle, aka Immersion, and today I am talking with Apishek Thakur, who is Kaggle's first ever triple grandmaster. That means achieving grandmaster status in competitions, achieving grandmaster status in kernels, and grandmaster status in discussions. So first off, congratulations. That is uh, one heck of an achievement. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it took a while. <laughs> It took a while, so we're going to get to that. Um, so why don't we start with uh, just giving a little bit about your background, introduction, how you got into Kaggle. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people would love to know your story. Yeah, so it's a, it's a funny story. So I joined Kaggle, my profile says eight years ago, but I started uh, with competitions in 2013, that's six years ago. So. Um, I, I was doing I, I I was doing an internship when I was studying in my bachelor's, and there I heard about random forests, and I told uh, one of my colleagues, and uh, uh, he was like, why, "Why don't you look at this site, Kaggle? Everyone is using random forest, and you know random forest, so probably you can win some competitions." So I joined Kaggle, and um, I, I didn't do anything. So I looked at the competitions and everything seemed like too weird to me. You have to download files and upload files. My internet is not that fast. <laughs> and uh, so in 2013, so I was doing, at, at that time I was doing my electronics engineering and 2013 when I was doing my masters, I saw everyone is talking about natural language processing. People are talking about neural networks and machine learning. So I should also start learning this. And where do I start from? So I remember two years ago, this guy told me about this website called Kaggle. So I went back to, I tried to search what are the machine learning competition platforms, and then I found Kaggle again, and um, it couldn't register my account because I already had one. So um, then I started with, uh, then I saw like, okay, I, I was able to log in after four card password and all, and then I saw this competition on, um, recognizing facial expressions emotion recognition so that's where i started from started with very basic image processing approaches and with matlab so i was trying to determine the angle between eye and nose and lips to find what emotion it is <laughs> yeah so that's interesting so you 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 learned about random forests and you were interested in NLP and your first competition was uh, image recognition. So which no, you know, I was always interested in image processing. So when when I was doing my bachelor's, the time I was working on fingerprint recognition, and I, w I was doing OCR recognition, implementing OCR algorithms on uh, microcontrollers, microprocessors at that time, and. Uh, I heard about NLPs because my friends were working in NLP and they were using neural networks and RNNs. They just started at that time and they were talking about that. That's how I got interested in machine learning. So um, so you were using MATLAB. Were, did you have a GPU when you started? No, I didn't have one. I had a f computer with 4 GB RAM. <laughs> okay, 4 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm guessing uh, you weren't one of these uh, competitors. So there's a, a very, 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 very small percentage of competitors, almost actually you can count them on your hand, that find Kaggle, join Kaggle, and do really well on their first competition. Did you did you knock it out of the park uh, on your first competition? Or did uh, it take you? I was, I was in 50%. And in the first competition, I, as, of, as far as I remember, there were around 60 or 70 competitors in that one, because okay. it was an image competition. And uh, yeah. <laughs> It's uh, not like these days when you have a lot of people working in image competitions. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, that was also won by University of Toronto guys. Yep. At the time. Uh, so so what, what's your educational background that uh, got you into machine learning? My educational background. So um, I'm a bachelor's in electronics engineering. My coding skills were limited to MATLAB and VHDL programming. And um, I learned some C, C++ on my own. I was always interested in computer science, but I, I couldn't get uh, computer science for my bachelor's. So I decided to do master's in computer science. That's when I moved to Germany. And 
uh, there I was working. My master's thesis was on computer vision. Um, and from there, I uh, got introduced to K nearest neighbors again. <laughs> and then I started with machine learning. <laughs> Okay. And and uh, let's see. So you were started competing with MATLAB. How long did it take you to switch over to uh, Python? I assume you use Python mostly now. Uh, yeah, I, I use Python. MATLAB. Was, I start um, started the competition with MATLAB in 2013. I quit MATLAB in 2013. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, with Python, it was uh, always easy, and I learned all the Python I know from Kaggle. And from looking at what other people have shared their uh, functions and all, all the code, and it's quite similar to Mat MATLAB. So it's only, I think, the indexes are different. Exactly. <laughs> it's very painful and hard to go back to a one indexed. Uh, yeah. And it's open source. And so I don't have to buy the license. And at the time, I was working for the university. So I had a license for MATLAB, but I don't need that anymore. <laughs> right. So I, I looked, and it was. Uh, three years ago this month that Kaggle redesigned their progression system, right? It used to be master was the highest you could get. And three years ago, they changed it. So the grandmaster status, but also you could have the three tiers uh, competitions, kernels and uh, discussion. Yeah. So it took three years before somebody was able to get a grandmaster in all three. So uh, why don't you talk us through what was your first grandmaster was second and, and then what was the hardest for you to finally get? So when Kaggle when Kaggle switched this, um, they had the new progression system. I I was a bit afraid. I was like, okay, I'm going to lose my status, and I'll, I'll be I'll be a master, and uh, then I have to work again to get a grandmaster. But I got lucky because I had I think uh, there was a competition stumble upon, and there I got my first solo gold. So I had that solo gold, so I didn't have to fight for gold medals in competitions. Um, after that discussion, so I'm very good at discussing things on Kaggle. <laughs> and so that got some vote, vote ups. And uh, I, I, I think it was last year when I became competition uh, discussion grandmaster, uh, end of last year or beginning of this year. Um, uh, the thing, it, it took me a while because I was not very active on Kaggle for uh, in 2018 and half of 2017. And uh, that's why I think it took, took a while to get discussion grandmaster. And kernels was, uh, I think it was the most difficult one. So, but um, I got I got a lot of gold medals in the last few weeks. Okay. And that's all because of the new competitions that were launched and how I was sharing my kernels. like how I was designing them. Yeah, yeah, we launched five competitions in the last week of, uh, yeah. of last month. So that gave uh, a great opportunity for somebody who is interested in uh, jumping in quick and doing yeah. some starter kernels and getting upvotes. So that's fantastic. And you know, I remember back, uh, so I've been competing on Kaggle for about seven years. And I remember back even from uh, the earlier days, even before uh, kernels, before scripts, you were always the one that would post uh, uh, starter kernels in the forum. And, and back then, right, you'd have to actually upload a, uh, a raw Python file. Uh, but you'd always, it was the, the beat, the, was it beat the benchmark or? Beating the benchmark. Beating the benchmark. So, um, yeah. you know, so even back then, so I, I, what was your motivation uh, for, you know, for uh, uh, sharing even before we had this progression system? So uh, it goes way back. And um, so I learned everything I know about machine learning from Gaggle. So uh, I saw so people are using these different algorithms, different approaches. I would look at them. And I was in the university, so I had a lot of time to read stuff. And I was anyways reading papers. So I started reading papers and implementing them. Um, and back in, uh, I don't remember the year, probably it was 13 or 14. There was a competition called Amazon Access Challenge. And people share a lot of cool stuff in that challenge. And then I saw, like, OK, people are sharing this. That's why I'm able to learn. And because of that sharing, I was able to get a good rank in that competition. That was like one of my very first competitions. And uh, that's why I started sharing. And when, when you're sharing code, people are also commenting on that. And um, 
some, some people people are being thankful some people get mad but uh, that's a, that's a different story but people are also sharing how you can improve on what uh, you have shared so they are also giving different ideas so um so some some people it's it's good for some people to learn new things how to approach problems how like uh getting a quick start to the problem and it's also good for me because i learned from those comments yeah no that, that's fantastic it, you know and it's, it's interesting i joined kaggle in 2012 and that's the time that like coursera started so now all of a sudden mm -hmm. not only do you have uh software with python that's free and, and scikit-learn but but also you know free education and uh with kaggle for people to be able to share scripts and share kernels and share, you know, what they're doing, uh, it's this kind of amazing thing where, where you know, anyone that's really motivated to learn can can learn these things and find these things. But it's also uh, very intimidating, right? I mean, it was intimidating, I'm sure, for you when you started. It was for me. Uh, so I'm curious, like, so if somebody was brand new to Kaggle and uh, a little worried about starting a competition, like, what what advice would you give them to getting started? uh be persistent don't get disappointed so uh yeah i, I think it's true for you too i um i know that uh, you got a very low rank in the first competition you were doing i got a very low rank in the first few competitions that i did and um the the basic idea is never give up and read the solutions after the competition has ended so there you can learn the most and um, just carry on <laughs> with the next one. So what if, you, what if you fall down from top 10 to thousands of ranks? Um, you, you will learn why it happened. Or what if you're not even able to make to the top 10? Uh, you will learn from the solutions of the other people. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I do. I'm still doing that. So uh, like, even now, if, if I'm unable to get a good rank or I don't know how to handle so many images, right now it's just about images. So then um, I will look at the solutions of how others have tackled this problem. And from there, I learn. And I can use it not just in Kaggle, in other competitions, but also in industry. Those kind of ideas. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's there's a lot of people who say, well, there's a you know disconnect. But uh, when I started doing data science uh, from, CAG, uh, you know, not on Kaggle, but in industry, any, every new problem that I saw, I could relate it to a competition that I had worked yeah. on, whether it's signal processing or image or whatnot. So it's a, yeah. it's a huge advantage. Um, so uh, would you consider yourself like a competitive person? Did, were you driving towards this uh, to be first at the, the triple grandmaster or did it just happen? In the last few weeks I was, <laughs> so I, I wanted to, uh, get this title before somebody else did. And since one more competition was ending, the Jigsaw one, which got postponed. Uh, so I thought like, OK, uh, I should share more kernels before this competition ends. But I also went for quality kernels, so where you, you have something to learn from. Um, yeah, one of uh, one of my kernels that uh, got a gold was just a joke kernel. <laughs> I remember now, but that, that was long ago. Uh, yeah, um, I, I think I think that's it about uh, sharing stuff. Good. Oh well, fantastic. So um, now, right now, you you've achieved triple grandmaster. Um, do we need to add anything to keep you motivated, or does the point decay in the ranking system is that enough to keep you, keep you motivated? That's enough, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, fantastic. Do you, do you have anything to else that you'd like to add or ask before we uh, end the interview? Uh, not so much. I mean, um, I think I've already said this before, but uh, I'm really thankful to Kaggle and everyone who is working there. <laughs> and um, it has uh, helped me a lot in learning and also in industries. So even I relate industrial problems to Kaggle. And the only difference that I see between industries and Kaggle is okay. Now you nowadays you can use ensembles and stacked models because you have so many resources available. But the only difference right now is how you gather the data. Yeah, 
Yeah, so Kegel is very, very yeah. nice in yeah. uh, giving a nice. Here, here's <laughs> yeah, your here. It rarely <laughs> happens in the real world. Yeah. Well, congratulations again on your uh, achievement, and uh, you know, thanks for all of the contributions you've given over the years. I know I've personally learned uh, a lot of what you've posted, and uh, look forward to having you share for years to come. So, thanks again. Thank you very much. I'll continue doing it.